AMK2SO, AMA KX series security droid. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make my voice from Rogue One. This tutorial was requested by Foxdooled Dump. Interesting name. Can you do K2SO's voice? Yes. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so we're in Adobe's audition. So first of all, let's go up to waveform and I'm going to call this K2SO. I'm going to leave the sample rate at 44100 and leave the channels at stereo and bit rate. We're going to leave it at 32 float and select OK. So one thing we need to talk about is when we do K2SO's voice, now, the original actor, Alan, when he was doing it, he made sure that the British accent was used because, as you're aware, all of the Imperial officers and so forth have a British accent. So one of the things that he did is he made sure he tried to present a sophisticated British accent, almost like C-3PO in some ways, but not, um, and pronouncing his words when he does it. So one thing you need to do is when we're doing the K2SO's voice for this tutorial, we need to make sure that we try and pronounce our words as we're doing it. So let's do an example. Let's do some different tests. So I'm going to do some different phrases that we use in the movie. For example, I find that answer vague and unconvincing. So one thing we've got to try to do is really pronounce our words. So I find that answer vague and unconvincing. So we're going to do the recording now. I find your answer vague and unconvincing. Okay, so we've got it in there now, and we're going to have a listen to it. I find your answer vague and unconvincing. Okay, so we're going to make some uh, different alterations to what we've said. So first of all, let's just chop the front out. So I'm selecting this bit of space here with no sound and press delete. And I'm going to do the same at the end here and delete again. So I've got this. I find your answer vague and unconvincing. Okay, so we're going to go to home now. So we're going to do some alterations to the voice. So let's select the whole waveform and we're going to go up to effects. We're going to go to modulation and we're going to go to chorus. I'm going to come up to the presets and select five voices. So once we've selected five voices, we're going to go to the delay time and bring that down to 0.01. So just drag it all the way, the slider to zero. I'm going to bring the delay rate to zero also, and then go to feedback and bring that up to 20. I'm then going to bring the spread to 20. So let's change that value to 20. We're going to bring the modulation down to two and we're going to make sure that modulation rate is set at 20. I'm going to come over to stereo field now. I'm going to make this percentage 50% and then I'm going to come down to output level, change the dry to 20 and then change the wet to 100%. So once I've got that, I'm going to come over here and I've got this green toggle loop tool, which means it will keep playing the sound file and press play and see what it sounds like. So it should sound like this. I find your answer vague and unconvincing. I find your answer vague and unconvincing. Excellent. So we've got that really nice sound, a slight echo in it, almost robotic. And that's what we're after. Now, if your voice is a little bit more higher pitched than mine, then I suggest go in there and start playing around a little bit with the spread in the characteristics of uh, the presets five voices. So once you play around with that, that should allow you to get closer to what I'm getting at the moment. Um, so I know a lot of guys at the moment, um, and girls obviously, if you're trying to do a female version, um, you can always try that out. But if you're trying to make it a little bit deeper, um, do play around the spread uh, to get that. So when you're happy with that, you just simply select apply and it'll apply the effect. And then I'm going to go up to favorites and I'm going to come down to remove vocals and select remove vocals. So at the end of that simple two step process, so the two plugins that we use then, the end result should sound like this. I find your answer vague and unconvincing. I find your answer vague and unconvincing. So let's have a match and see what it actually really sounds like in the movie and see how close we got. Would you get it? I found it. I find that answer vague and unconvincing. So as you can see, we're pretty close to the mark. Um, obviously, we're not going to be 100%. One thing we need to understand is we're not the original character or the actor, Alan, um, who did the voiceover um, and as well as played the stand-in for the character, K2SO, 
in Rogue One. So we're getting as close as possible. So uh, this is a good way of making K2SO's voice um, using Adobe's audition. Now to finish the uh, file and save it, we're gonna go up to file, save as, and I'm gonna call it K2SO. I'm going to put this file straight onto my desktop. If not, select browse and find a location where you wanna save it. I'm gonna save the format as a WAV file. There's also different other formats that we've got here. Uh, MP3, if you wanna use an MP3 and compress it down. Um, I suggest using waveform if you're trying to capture the most clearest sound file. But if you don't have too much space on your computer, go with MP3, obviously. It's a really good compression. Most of your music that you've got on your iPods and so forth um, and devices are MP3. Um, I'm gonna leave the sample type exactly as stereo, which was the original setup that we did at the very beginning. And I'm just simply gonna select OK. And then once I've selected OK, it's all done. And that's how we do K2SO's voice in Adobe's Audition. To become a Film Master subby, subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook and on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.